Finally, I can go home.
No more job, no more uniform. I'm Walter, the guy who just saved your ass. There's still a few survivors left in the city, but not for long. Take this. Watch it, they followed us. They're all yours, kid. Show me what you got. What do you mean, show you what I got? Help me! Nah, you're fine. Keep it up. Quit judging me in hell! Not bad, kid. Meet me at the basketball court. Why? So you can silently judge me some more? What is this, a test? Damn right it's a test. I met other survivors like you. They were more trouble than they were worth. That dead body over there? That one of them? Hey, dead guy. What am I in for here? Break open that crate. Pick up the gun. Now, switch to your new gun. Uh, how do I do that? That was the test? I fucking nailed it! Wait here. Get ready to shoot some OD. OD? Overcharge drinkers. My partner Floyd says drinking overcharge caused their endocrine <laughs> systems to go into overdrive. I'm gonna throw some overcharge onto the court. Get ready for the real test. <sighs> The OD are addicted to that stuff. They'll be here quick. Here they come. You're still alive. Good sign. Come on, kid. Where's the cops? The National Guard? The news helicopters? Wake up, kid. Fisco controls everything. Can't we just call for help or something? It's not that easy. Fisco cut off all communications outside the city. But I have a plan. Fisco did this? Not on purpose. But they're doing a hell of a job covering it up. The rest of the world thinks we're all dead from some kind of virus. Come on, we gotta keep moving. Our new partner. Well, all right. My name's Floyd. Intruders! you're doing who are these guys yeah criminals who will shoot you for no good reason best way to deal with them shoot first you realize that makes just get out there and make sure you grind up high <laughs> and bounce around if you stand still they'll murder you uh 
Okay, kid. Come on back. I'm gonna head out to the overpass. Put the kid to work. Okay, I could use some more supplies. Head on down to the tracks. I'll explain on the way. By myself? Hey, I know there's some scary shit out there, but it's all in how you look at it. You tell yourself you're gonna have a good time, you'll have a good time. Am I right? But seriously, those motherfucking OD will tear you apart. Be careful. I marked the location of the parts on your map. Make sure you collect all of them. I used to be a physical scientist, head of the extremist file team. Those freaky little microbes are the secret ingredient in overcharge. Yeah. Limitless potential in those things. I warned Fisco that they might be dangerous, but they blew me off. Didn't give me enough time for research. See, if you cook overcharge in a high pressure vat and mix in just the right ingredients, you can get some pretty awesome shit. I call them imps, and trust me, you're going to love them. Your street name isn't Heisenberg, is it? I think I got them all. There's another truck further down the tracks. Jump on the train tracks and grind to the next stash. Hey, if you see any red barrels... I've played my fair share of games. I know what to do with red barrels. Yet. Why would Fizco poison their own customers? You got it wrong. The whole thing was an accident. The Fizco execs were so worried about competition, they rushed overcharge through government testing. They fucked up, and now they'll do whatever they can to protect their stock price. We're not getting out of this city alive, are we? Not with that attitude, we're not. I look at it this way. The apocalypse is our chance to be whoever we yeah. want to be. No bosses, no rules. I call it the awesome apocalypse. Apocalypse, apocalypse. All right, so I've been working on some things I call amps. I have some that are almost ready. I just need a few more things to finish them off. There should be some fizzy balloons out in the base. Grab them and bring them back. was the last one. Take the balloons to the amp chamber to finish the amps. Come find me at the overpass. I'm waiting on you. Hey, Walter, what did you do for a living? You know, before all this. Why does that matter? <laughs> okay, so you were a professional mean person. Got it. I used to be head of Fisco security. I used to be? Sounds like you didn't leave on good terms. A couple of years ago, they got rid of me and all my men went totally automated. Big mistake. Mistake? After a colossal corporate fuck-up, we're the only ones who know the truth. And we're trapped inside a walled-up city full of zombies with no contact to the outside world. I'd say security's doing a pretty good job. Mutants, not zombies. Big difference. Right. We'll get out, and soon. Now hurry, us up. Watch him, incoming. Get over here and help me fend him off. 
You now have a melee amp and an epic amp. I'm going to give you one last freebie. Here's 60 seconds of that shit crazy style. First one's free. Once I'm over the walls, I'm gonna expose Fizco's lies and make them pay for what they've done. You really think it'll fly? I know it will, as soon as I make a few more adjustments to the launch mechanism. French. Okay, I need you to lift up the carriage a bit more. Like this? Now keep it there while I tighten this. Don't let go. I uh, might have to let go. Not yet. I have to let go now. No! Yeah, did you see that? You're lucky I was here. supposed to do of course it's my fault thanks dad who's not my real dad guess I'll just head back to the base maybe I can help him rebuild the glider sure there was a quicker way to get there that was easy Man, he's been pissed at me plenty of times. It's not like I did it on purpose. I want to get out of this city just as much as he does. Hey, let's make lemons out of this lemonade. He's got to rebuild, right? Hardest part is going to be the propeller. Why don't you head over to the old factory district, have a look around. I need to find a propeller. The propeller has blades. Guess I'll start at the old Crown Blades factory. Yeah. Hey, who is that? Ah! He didn't have an icon dealy thing on his head, so am I supposed to chase him? Yes, you should follow him. Okay, scary, helpful voice man. Get away from me! Wait, it's dangerous. Come back! Are they gone yet? Wow, that was amazing. Are you like a superhero or something? What? It's just the way you move, the, the things you do. Well, uh, good luck, kid. My name's Sam, but since you saved me and all, let me do something for you. Nah, not unless you know where I can find a propeller. A propeller? Wait, wait, I have an idea. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Follow me! 
We gotta get out of here. Follow me! Okay, we're just going in circles. Uh, think, Sam, think. Here's the plan. We're gonna railjack that train. That's brilliant! And how lucky that you can drive a train! What? I can't drive a train. Then why would you even suggest stealing a train? Because we are about to die. Well, in that case, I have played several hundred hours of Choo Choo Simulator. That sounds boring and awful, but potentially life-saving. Go that far. Come on, our safe house is just down the street. So, Sam, what were you doing at that factory all by yourself? Oh, you know, looking for supplies for me and my friends. They send me out because they're all doing other important stuff back at the base. Important stuff? Like what? I'm not really sure. These friends of yours, are they really friends? I like to think so. We were all students at Oxford West College. Oxford West? Isn't that the school that all the rich and famous send their kids to when they have to go into rehab or whatever? Yeah, but it's a great school. I got a scholarship, the only scholarship. Everybody else paid their way in. Anyway, when the OD attacked campus, only a few of us made it out alive. One thing before we go in, my friends are having a hard time coping, so go easy on them. If we can get everyone working together, we're gonna make you an amazing propeller. Hey guys, I want you to meet my new friend. Shut up, Sam. You suck at friends, Sam. They're not bad people, they're just spoiled. They don't know how to deal with a mutant apocalypse. I know how to make them come around. If only I could get them to listen to me. Maybe you can help me help them. You want me to be your life coach? Yes. What should I do first, coach? Step one, never call me coach again. Step two, never do that again. Step three, let's see what your friends need to get upright and start working on that propeller. So, am I invited to your birthday party, life coach? Uh, hmm, awesome friend? That's Dirk. His mom is an award-winning physicist, and his dad is an astronaut. He's really good with aerodynamics. Aerodynamics? How convenient. He's also a health nut. He only drinks, like, the most expensive water on the planet. Bora Bora water! You can't afford it! There's a bottling plant a few blocks away. If you can bring back a couple bottles for him... Wait a sec. You're telling me that the only thing that will make this guy get off his ass is some brand name bottled water? You don't know him like I do. I don't want to know him like you do. Trust me, once we give him what he wants, he'll help make your propeller. Hey, it's Floyd, just checking in. What are you, my mother? You wish I was your mother. No, I really don't. Anyway, I found a group of worthless, spoiled brats who just happen to be geniuses. I gotta do some stuff for them, and then they'll build me a propeller. Nice! Walter's out at the overpass, rebuilding the glider. That propeller's gonna help a lot. Don't tell him I'm working on it. I want it to be a surprise. Walter doesn't like surprises. But <laughs> then again, he doesn't like much of anything, so... See ya! <laughs> oh god, the place is flooded. Guess if I want that precious Bora Bora water, 
I'd have to drain out this nasty stuff first. Time to grab that water and get out of here. <clears throat> Better get this back to what's his face. It doesn't kill him. You did it! I mean, not that I had any doubt that you would. Wait here. Hey, Dirk, I got something I think you might like. Sick. Ah, oh, fuck, that's good. Purest water on Earth. Ah, oh, thanks, Sam, you rock. Yeah, sure, anytime. So, uh, can I get that propeller now? Soon. Dirk will certainly help, but we need to get a couple other people on board. That's Margaret. She's an engineering major with, like, the highest GPA in the history of the school. But she lost her dog when everything went down, and she hasn't been the same since. Finding that dog will go a long way to helping her depression. Hey, whatever gets me that propeller. There's a dog park across the river that she always went to. I would check there first. Nice. The dog park is over in Little Tokyo. You'll have to cross the North Bridge to get there. The bridge? No, I can just jump across on these boats. Boats? Ugh, yikes. Open water scares me. It's just a river, Sam. The Bermuda Triangle. Hey, the Bermuda Triangle is no laughing matter. Hundreds of ships lost, thousands claimed by the sea. Not only is it a hotbed for tropical storms and magnetic anomalies, but I am pretty sure I read about alien abductions and leftover technologies from Atlantis causing ultrasonic... Sam, I found the dog. You did? No, I just wanted to save the world from the rest of your story. <laughs> just call me when you find the dog. <laughs> What's your name? Boo Boo? Come on, Boo Boo. Margaret's looking for you. What the fucking fuck? Hey, Sam, did you maybe forget some of the details about Margaret's robo dog? The thing won't follow me back. He must be in some kind of recovery mode. If it doesn't recognize the voice trying to command it, it will only interact with its favorite toy, Cutie Kitty. Listen, there's a toy store pretty close to you. Just try looking there for the kitty launcher, okay? Or you could just tell Margaret her dog is dead. That dog means a lot to her. Fine. Oh, wait, Sam. The dog is following me now. Oh, great. Oh, no, it just committed suicide. Sorry, mission failed. What's next? Just check the toy store before giving up, okay? But giving up is my special move. Uh, stupid dog. Okay, dog, got something you might like. Please work, please. Yeah, you like playing fetch? You want me to throw this thing for you? Hmm. How can I make this fun for me, too? How about... Hell yeah. Hey, Sam, I got this stupid dog excited. Now, how do I reboot it? 
Not the best news to break to you, but Margaret has to do that here. <laughs> of course she does. Just try to get used to how he moves. You have a long trek back. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Very murder, much death, so corpses. Go get it. There's too many OD outside. You're gonna need to clear them out before we can open the doors. I hope you get Robo Rabies. I can't believe I thought I would miss guns. Much death. So corpses. Area clear. All right. I'm opening up the doors. I missed you, too. Thank you, Sam. You're the best. Sure, anytime. Yeah, really nice work, Sam. Okay, we need to convince just one more person to help. Then we can start building your propeller. Hmm. Max is the math whiz at Oxford West. If anyone can calculate a propeller for optimal lift, it's him. I think he's worried about his parents. Maybe you could go check on them. Max's parents live in the penthouse suite of the tallest tower. Those Fizco execs make a lot of money, you know. Well, there might be a product recall on their latest drink. I'm just saying, I'm sure that can't help the stock price. You think, right? But nobody on the outside <laughs> knows yet. Most of their stockholders probably think everything is running smoothly. With perhaps the exception of Max's parents. Correct. They're probably dead. But there is a chance they made it into their panic room. Oh, of course they have a panic room. I had an entire panic apartment. It just looked like my normal apartment, but with boarded up windows and me inside, panicking. Isn't there a chance Max's parents turned into OD when everybody else did? It's possible. Be careful when you open that panic room door. Fair point. This is our turf! Who the fuck is this? Time for some extreme violence! Make me find some weird sex stuff. I regret nothing! <laughs> Voice recorder. Max's parents' dying words? Let's find out. Security breached. Oh, shit. Get all the loot! <laughs> Gotta listen to that voice recording before I head back. Max needs to know what happened to his parents. Found it! Max, if you're hearing this message, then it means you're still alive shame. Your mother and I are going to live in the Bahamas. We're cashing out your trust fund so mommy can drink a lot of champagne and daddy doesn't have to get a new job. Anyway, uh, best of luck. 
By the way, have you tried drinking our new overcharged drink yet? I think you'd like it. Well, at least the dick bag left a message. Max is now poor and an orphan. We should probably just tell him his parents were skeletons in a bathtub. Just get back. We'll figure out the least worst thing to tell him. So, Sam, you're sure your friends are going to listen to you now? Sure, I'm sure. Thanks to you, they think I did all this great stuff for them. You're sort of a modern day Cyrano de Bergerac. I have no idea what that means. Well, of course, I'm referencing the play, not the real Cyrano. Whatever. I'll be whoever you need me to be, as long as I get that propeller. Well, his parents are still alive, but they're major assholes. Stole his money and left him for dead. Yeah. I'll break the news. Yes! Freedom! Thanks, Sam. Best news ever! So, Sam, you expect us to believe you went out and did all this stuff by yourself? I think you had a little help. Who gives a shit what you think? You guys just sit on your asses all day while this hero goes out into the city, all to get you a bunch of useless shit so you can be happy. I don't know about you, but that inspires me. Makes me want to be a hero to this hero. I know we can do it. Together. We're gonna have to work hard. Uh, Sam forgot one thing. If you don't help him, I'll throw your ass out on the street to fend for yourself. I'm on board with this. Hey, let's get to work. Cool speech. I'm ready. What is it? It's a 3D printer. It's gonna make you a new propeller. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know. Mm, but it needs a faster processor. Of course it does. <sighs> I'll see what I can find. Boy, Max must have really hated his parents. So, Floyd, any idea where I can find some high-end computer parts? Computer parts? Nope. You sure? Yep. Oh, no! There's a guy that lives in a cell phone tower nearby. He's got a ton of computers. <laughs> Almost forgot. That's what I thought. I'll check it out. How do I get over there? Now, if I was a tree dwelling hillbilly, where would I keep my computer parts? Got you, you visco, some bitch. I'm not from Fizco. What do I look like, an asshole? Well, maybe not a Fizco asshole. But I'm gonna shoot you anyway, just to be sure. Wait, listen, I'm not Fizco. I'm just here to steal computer parts from you. How'd you think you were gonna do that when I got this here gun? Yeah. I got guns, too. Damn. But how do I know you can use them? 
I'm an American. I can use a cocky son of a bitch like you. Looks good on camera. I need footage for my new show. Get out there and show me what you can do. And don't worry about dying. That looks good on camera, too. Thanks. Because I wasn't already creeped out enough by you. Well, I got cameras all over that warehouse down there. If you're as good as you say, we should get some great footage. Sweet. I always wanted to star in the redneck running man. My audience has very discriminating tastes, so you gotta do exactly as I say. Jump high and cut them down! are on the table. I got my Bucky's perched and blinds all over the city. Camera's ready to roll. Just find them and do what you do. You'll be paid back in time. Get off my lawn. See here. And we're off. Hey, if you do find a way out of the city, you'll come back and rescue us, right? Come back? To Sunset City? Why would I? Of course you'll come back and save us. You're you. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I questioned it. <clears throat> so this will take a few hours to finish. Uh, I'll let you know when it's done. Working my ass off to repair this thing, then you go behind my back, making new propeller. You looking to steal my glider? No, it wasn't like that. I... I'm fucking with you, kid. Can't you see me smiling? Ha ha. It's a fine propeller. We're almost ready to fly out of here. The only problem is, a few minutes ago, some scabs stumbled across the glider. I held them off, but they stole my glide wheel. Glide wheel? Sounds... made up. Well, how about you make yourself up a way to get it back? And hurry, those scabs will be back soon. I'll wait here. There's the glide wheel. I think. I better get back to Walter before he has a stroke. Or something else old people get and then die. Walter, you okay? Told you they'd come back. Get over here and help me fend them off. updraft to give us enough of a boost to escape.
shot down for sure if you try to escape now. Who is this? It's Sam, and you guys are in big trouble. What do we do, Sam? You can't shoot it down. It's got shields, but uh, maybe... Maybe what, Sam? Huh? Oh, sorry, I was checking Reddit. Follow the patrol ship. If you chase it through the city to my location, I can upload a virus to it and take out the shields. But you gotta get pretty close. And I gotta code the virus first. Okay, we'll follow the ship. Wait a sec, I'm reloading. Okay, uploading virus now. Everybody pray to the C++ gods. Worked. The shields are down. Head toward the power plant. We need one last big boost to get us over the wall. Next time, try not to make it so dramatic by being so fucking slow. Also, thank you. My pleasure. Just don't forget about me. I mean, us. Don't worry, we'll send help as soon as we get out of the city. We'll miss you, you cranky motherfucker. I'm sorry, Floyd. Just wish I could have saved him. Best thing you can do is keep being yourself. Keep that swagger going. Cool? Yeah. Hey, Walter talked about this guy. Named Brill Cream. Says he was the smartest guy around. You find that guy, I bet he'll figure out how to escape the city. Brill Cream? What kind of a name is that? One that's easy to remember, I guess. Anyway, Walter said there was ham radio signals coming from a Japanese museum nearby. Might be him. You should check it out. Senior troop. But these aren't all little kids, roast marshmallows, and tying knots. They're older, more focused on life skills, volunteering, conservations, and shit yeah. like that. So basically, the anti me. Hey, you said it, not me. Look at these traps. Nice designs. Hello, Crane? Hello? Who's inside? Locked. I will not be defeated by a locked door. Plan B, to the roof! How did you get in here? I'm looking for a guy named Brill Cream. Troopmaster Brill Cream is missing. Well, maybe I can help you find him. Maybe you'll be lucky if I let you live. Kind of a dick, huh? Treason! Arrest for Kim and banish her from the troop. 
Chill out, Mussolini. I am the troop master, and this is my troop. Uh, man, are you gonna tell me where Brill Cream is or what? You wanna find Brill Cream? You must do as I say. My troop has been trying to locate Troop Master Brill Cream via radio, but all they hear is this. Doctors recommend drinking 17 cans of overcharge a day. And... The radio station is located here. If you destroy all three transmitters around the tower, we have a better chance of locating Troop Master Brill Cream. So, you think you can do that? Sure thing. Be right back. Two new transmitters blew up so big. Norton, fixed your radio for you. What? You're alive? I'm not gonna lose to a blimp. That'd <laughs> be humiliating. Well, my troop thanks you for your service. Goodbye. Wait. You'll let me know if you find Brill Cream, right? Oh, yes. Brill Cream, <laughs> of course. We'll keep looking for it. Thank you again. Hey, it's Sam. Come back to our base. There's someone here that wants to talk with you. And she's kind of cute. My name is Forkin. Hey, sorry about that whole banished from the troop thing. It's for the best. Troopmaster Norton is a bad guy. Even though he says he's trying to find Brill Cream, he's not. I overheard him whisper something about Troopmaster Brill Cream at the hot dog factory. I hear this Brill Cream guy is really smart. He's a genius. A genius that might be trapped in a hot dog factory? I'm worried. He's been missing for a couple of weeks. We'll find him. You mean, I'll find him? Someone has to stay here and comfort for Kim. Right. Keep up the good work, Sam. So what's the deal with the hot dog factory? If you're trying to survive the apocalypse, hot dogs are the last thing you should eat. Troop Master Brill Cream is a master at boosting morale. Maybe he thought a hot dog cookout would lift the spirits of the troop. Yeah. Oh, that's funny, because I prefer to lift my spirits with actual spirits. Alcohol is a depressant and has many health risks. You're right. Better to eat processed pig lips and assholes. I'm sure that's healthy.
Okay, I'm at the hot dog factory. Look around for signs of Troop Master Broken. Uh oh, scabs. And it looks like they decided to upgrade their arsenal. Where did they get those new weapons? They're not smart enough to design them on their own. You might have to deal with some scabs while you look for evidence. Think? Scabs and evidence go together like, uh, hot dogs and factories. <laughs> Found a Japanese sword. Not something a troop leader would have. Yeah, seems weird, doesn't it? But it could be Brill Creeps. He never went anywhere without it. I feel like that could have been useful intel to have at the top of this caper. But we need more evidence. Huh, a troop leader's hat. Seems like something a troop leader would wear. That could be Brill Creeps. He was always wearing his hat. Okay, I'm convinced. Either Brilcrane is here, or he was here. You should check inside the factory. Brilcrane is a trained survivalist. He may have locked himself inside. See if you can find a way to bust down a door, or even a wall. a note from Brill Cream. It's dated two weeks ago. What does it say? It says, Hot dogs spoiled, heading to Hepcats to meet Norton. Scabs on my trail. We'll try to lose them. Let's meet at Hepcats and look for more clues. You knew Norton was involved somehow. Troop Master Norton? Hey, Norton. How's that search for Brill Cream going? <clears throat> Not good. I believe it's time to call it off. Not yet. I'm following up on a lead. Oh? I found a note from Brill Cream. He said he was going to meet you at Hepcat's Diner. Whatever happened with that? Well, as I recall, uh, he never showed up. Where did you find that note? You're lying, Norton. What are you hiding? How dare you? A troop master never lies. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important troop matters to attend to. <sighs> up here! Hurry! Although I didn't know Walter as well as you did, I still like to express condolences. So, condolences. Forkim just left. She said those smoke signals at the train station could be Brill Creams. But I saw a bunch of scabs going after her. You gotta get up there. Wait here. Yes, it's me. Being me. Good. Keep doing what you're doing. You're a very good distraction. Oh, the scabs are leaving the platform. This is my chance to rescue Brill Cream. Can you see him? No. But the SOS signal is coming from the train on the platform. It turned into a train? I'm going in. Wait! I'm almost at the platform. Don't do anything stupid. My job. since she's probably dead what yes there's a chance she's still alive but i won't know until i get up to the platform then get up there hurry get her on the train and don't hurt her he'll want her alive brookring's not here it's a
Cream is in a garbage truck, but they didn't garbage know where. Truck, huh? uh, the whole garbage system is automated. The trucks are equipped with GPS transmitters. If you come back to our base, I might be able to figure out a way to track it down. Okay, cool. I'm on my way. Wait, how do we communicate with Sam when neither of us is holding a phone? Uh, you know, technology. Technology. Let's not complicate things by poking holes in the way we deliver the story, okay? Oh. Okay, then. I'm gonna go back to the base and be magically gone by the time you have control. Fine by me. That's not weird at all. I learned a few other things while I was interrogating those scabs. They said they were working with Norton. He was supplying them with plans for upgraded weapons in return for protection. Asshole! Then he sent them to the train station as soon as he hung up with... I would go kick his butt right now, but he has the rest of the troop on his side. The only way we're going to win them over is to find Grill Cream and return him to the troop. We're working on that right now. I need to do some research into the garbage truck system. Their signals are analog. Blech. Tough to track down. Call me when you figure it out. You bet. <laughs> out how to track down that garbage truck and find Brill Cream. Go pick up the analog hacker I sent your way. Forkim and I worked through the night on this. It's pretty brilliant if you ask me. Oh, right. So anyway, we need you to get to a satellite dish nearby. We'll explain on the way. Satellite dishes are the best tool to help us find Brill Cream. Right. You see, by using the dishes, we can triangulate his last known position. You know, our troop has a monthly tea hunt, which stands for transmitter hunt, where someone sets up a transmitter in the forest. Then we all walk around with parabolic receivers. And you plot the position of the transmitter by triangulating two vectors to the source. Yeah, it's really fun. We only get a compass and a paper map. Guys, guys! Stop before one of you has a nerdgasm. I'll use the dishes to find the missing dude. You can't expect me to listen to your public radio show about it. signal. Okay, you're patched in. Let's test it out. Aim the dish at the museum. But true, Master, I could have sworn I heard. These are dangerous times, and dangerous times call for us to become men. Do you understand? We should just give up on real cream? Isn't our motto to not give up the rain, snow, or sleet? You don't need him anymore. You have me. Son of a beeswax! I will twist off his tiny little... Okay, sounds like it's working. Aim around and listen for the truck's beeping transmission. The needle will top out with a clear audio signal. Let's talk 
this over, son. You, you don't have to. Oh, oh, oh. I think it would be a good team building experience. Listen, you metal patient. Four Kim sent me to get you out. Hmm. Well, Four Kim has always been a great troop member. Still, I think I'll wait. Okay, I'm ready to be saved now. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on, I'll find something to put out the fire. Anything liquid. Hurry. Damn it. More juice. Don't look at the fire! Just play dead and it'll go away! That's not how fire works! Well, how would I know? I've never been burned alive before! Shit, I need another keg. Shit! That overcharge... <laughs> You're not using overcharge to fight the fire, are you? Uh, sorry, can't hear you. Fire's going up! Hold on! Now, that's me! Get off of there! God damn it! Hey, what's happening? If you're still alive, just lie. Fine work. Worthy of a fine survivalist. Uh... Perhaps you would like to join my troop. I'm not wearing a sash. Well, your skills are top-notch. I would like you to escort me to my troop. Sure. Um... Back to the troop headquarters! Quickly! Those creatures are coming this way. How long were you trapped in there? 16 days, 20 hours, 8 minutes. It's kind of amazing that you're still alive. I'm a survivalist. Do what it takes. How did you find me? It's kind of my thing. When people are in trouble, I grind over with some guns and kill all the troubles away. You have a spare weapon? I will help you fight. Uh, not to be rude, but you don't have any trigger fingers or toes. I think I'll get you. Master Brill Cream? I... How did you... <clears throat> We've been looking everywhere for you, sir. Why did you have to look for me when you already knew where I was? <laughs> what are you doing? Open this door! North! It is time for you to face the consequences of your actions. Don't be a coward. Take your punishment like a man. Norton! No! Run, troops! I better take that thing down before it eats the rest of the room. Like 
grind on his back, I can stab him in the head. Now don't get hit by his tail. Kim, I want to thank you for your loyalty and persistence. Your character and actions are worthy of commendation. Thank you, sir. As for your friend? You can keep your commendation. I just want you to tell me how to get out of this city. Hmm, that is a difficult proposition. Fisco has blocked all exit routes. I'm afraid there is no escape. Seriously? Fuck! Unless... I need a pencil. Paper! <laughs> Done! Bring these plans to my friend Ignatius, head of the shipbuilders union. You should find him near the harbor. This guy's gonna build a ship? Better than that. He's gonna give you a way out of the city. So one thing you should know about this guy, Ignatius, yeah. he's a hardcore LARPer. The hell is a LARPer? Live-action role-player? You mean those dorks with foam swords who go out into the woods and yell lightning bolt at each other? It's fantasy fulfillment, and it's a lot cooler than that, yeah. but, uh, yes. Okay, so he's a LARPer. Why do I care? Well, I heard that he was in the park with a bunch of other LARPers on Horror Night. When they got attacked by OD, they all kind of got... Psychologically broken. Don't you mean more psychologically broken? Just be careful. Come on, they're LARPers. You gonna shoot me with a foam arrow? <laughs> for Ignatius? Interloper! Whoa, whoa, what's an interloper? Somebody call off Roid Rage! Ah! Come forth, burglar, and face my justice! I call it truce! Or time out or whatever! Uh, do you wish to swear fealty to the king? Yeah, fealty. Let's do it. Proceed to the altar. <laughs> On bended knee. Do you swear by the old gods and the new to serve King Ignatius? <coughs> Wait, that's Ignatius? <laughs> Do you swear fealty? Yeah, yeah, by all the gods and trees and wizards and stuff. Is my quinceanera over now? <coughs> you may rise. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but does the king need a coroner? Alas, our king has fallen ill. I pray you can liberate him from the spirits that afflict him. I sense some epic missions in my future. My name is Wendy. And I'm the only one around here who's not living in a 12th century fantasy. So listen, Ignatius is sick. For real. He needs 21st century food and medicine. Got it. Real food and medicine and maybe a shrink dressed as a cleric or something? Seriously, he needs your help. I'm worried for him. A fortnight passed. Our stores were raided by a band of ruffians. Our king is weak and needs sustenance. Sorry, I don't speak Dungeon Master. Some scabs stole all our food. Silence, Anachronizer! <sighs> Whatever. We shall journey into the forest together. There, we will gather our victuals. Sure thing, bub. Lead the way. 
This way! Here we come, Vittles. What are Vittles? My... Ah! Oh, a quest. I shall serenade you along the way. No songs! Till we reach the forest. Now we ride! King Ignatius has not eaten since our stores of ragweed expired. You guys have been eating weed? That explains a lot. Listen, edibles can mess you up. You gotta be careful. I have faith you will revive after supping on a traditional meal. The hour of hunting is nigh. The forest lies close. Boss, climb atop the castle battlements and prepare thine vocals. We shall patrol the forest before our hunt. Behold, the legendary Fargoth Forest. What's with all the dead bodies? Our fallen brethren. Slay whilst harvesting tree bark for our king. You're gonna feed your king tree bark? Oh, now I get it. You hate your king and you're trying to slowly poison him with bark soup. How dare you? Tree bark is a staple of many a medieval diet. You do know that all those medieval people died horrible deaths, right? Uh, I keep forgetting. I'm dealing with crazy people. A battle is coming, let me sing the song of bonds. I can smell the breath of our enemies, but a bunch of sodding. Yes, lovely tune, quite enough, Bard, thank you. Anachronizer, you are tasked with guard duty while we perform the dangerous and honorable harvest. Do not let the goblins slay us, or our spirits will haunt you for eternity. I blacksmithed up some catapults. They should help in battle. They come from the gutter, they come from the pit. This song makes them hate us, what buggering pieces of shit. Wait for it, wait for it. Fire when ready. At the castle, fire! Just look toward any catapult and say the word. They'll be dead in no time. Slay the rest of the haggards! One pound! On me! King's Pride! We have defeated the Skeins, mates, but we must continue our harvest! Uh, Chandler, sire? Mayhap I have a word? Silence, Anachronizer! Where be our bard? Uh, he's dead. Bye! We cannot harvest without song! Uh, can I be the new bard? I'm sick of being a smither. I want to be something more fun. Indeed! You may play as the new bard! Kick ass! Commence the harvest and sing loudly, bard! Sing for the gods! Volkish archers coming from the power plant! We must harvest with speed, disband, and spill the blood of these miscreants! <laughs> Forsooth, countrymen, that was amazing. Allow me to thank thee for thy skills on the battlefield. Thou dost possess the strength of Samson and the wisdom of Solomon. And the power of love. Now go feed Ignatius that bark jerky and let me know when he's conscious. I have work for him. Let us return to our king with haste. Hey, it's Wendy. <laughs> So you know that bark soup you almost died for? It's not, a um, hitting the spot. What a surprise. Okay, send a crew to meet me at the farmer's market. We'll haul back some real food. The 
Farmer's market is bound to have at least a few fruits and vegetables. Potatoes, at least. They had those in the 12th century, right? Where'd all the food go? You stupid fat pigeons ate all the food? Why? You can get by on cigarette butts and litter. Gah! Where is thy food you spoke of? Huh. Fat pigeons. Fat pigeons? They had pigeons in the 12th century, right? Welcome to the Pigeon Dome. Many pigeons enter. Some might leave. Use the grind cookers and pyro geysers to roast pigeons. Got a flaming compensator? That'll work too! Rip it out! Ready, set, rip. Holy Mega Ultra Pigeon Combo! Super Macro Holy Mega Ultra Pigeon Combo! One minute remaining. Upload complete! Success! Thine pigeon slaying skills are legendary. Enough of this foolishness. Back to Fargathia! With speed! Right you are, Hunter! To the king! Nothing gets me King Ignatius, eat, so you may be reborn. If he barfs up that gutter chicken, I'm out of here. Our king sleeps peacefully. You have done well, my lord. We are forever indebted. Perhaps you would like to share in the King's Feast? Yeah, no thanks. I think I'd rather eat bark. Our King suffers from Satan's fire. You mean he has a fever? We know not how to release his demons. Perhaps you know a maester of the Citadel? Yeah, sorry, I don't know a master from a city hall, but I do know where to get some medicine. Sit tight. Oh, when I get back with your drugs, we'll discuss my offense at your assumption that I would know where to find drugs. I think I remember seeing some pharmaceuticals down by the docks. What do we have in here? Plan A, the night before the morning after pill. Nope, that's not gonna help a fever. Riddle infant. Riddling for babies. <laughs> it was just a matter of time. Yeah. Visotussin. Finally, something that'll cure a fever. Hey, it's Wendy. So, I hear you're out gathering medicine for Ignatius? Yeah, actually I just found some. I'm on my way back now. You need to make a stop on the way. I'll meet you at the park. Oh, is that code for get more drugs? Leech pond. Gross. Yeah, it gets grosser. Take off all your clothes. Whoa, whoa. I'll try anything once, but, uh... I'd like to know what I'm getting into first. Ignatius can only be treated using 12th century medicine, which means bloodletting. I think I see where this is going. You need to strip to your undies and walk through the pond to collect leeches. Fuck that! All right, so it's just your average picnic in the park then? Ridiculous. <laughs> this is gonna be so entertaining. 
Okay, okay, I got this. Find my spirit animal. Reach down. Oh! Oh god, what's that? Oh god! Ow! Tur oh. oh, terrible fucking idea. Oh, fuck Ignatius! And his mother! Ow! This is crazy! This is crazy! Ooh, that looks painful. Only in certain specific parts. Just one last thing. You need to drink the whole bottle of Fizzotussin. The whole bottle? Why? We need to saturate the leeches with medicine. That way, when we attach them to Ignatius, the medicine will transfer to his bloodstream. I don't think that's how leeches work. Oh, so you're a leech expert now. Hey, I don't see you stripping down, so at least let me run my mouth a little if I'm gonna get sucked dry like this. We need to get you back to Ignatius before you lose too much blood. Hey, wait up! You're not looking so good. Are you okay? Everything looks so awesome. Hi there! You're lost, huh? Where's Wendy? Let's play tag! Come on! Catch me! The fuck? I'm in the wrong burrito right now. Wait, what am I saying? Over here! <gasps> this is lame! How can we make it better? I know. Lava! Oh, for sure, Come and get me! <laughs> okay, calm down. This is all in your mind. None of this is real. Oh my god, I'm covered in leeches! Somebody help! Wendy. Oh, God, is it really you? I think the leeches are fully medicated. Let's get them off you and onto Ignatius. Make it quick. Satan's fire has been quenched. You are a hero to Fargathia and a medical wizard. Perhaps you can take a look at this postulant growth I have on my. No, no, I uh, only work on kings. Sorry, it's the law. Fool. Chandler made me do it. I didn't want to be the new bard anyway. Now, step forward, Knight of Fargathia. You brought me back from death's cold door. And now, I must grant you a boon. Look, this guy, Brill Cream, he said you could build me a boat. I don't know if that's the same as a boon, but... Leave the plans with me, and I will study them. Return on the morrow, and I shall give further counsel. The king is saved. There is one thing I need before I can commence with your vessel. Name it. You must help us slay the marauders that raided our food stores. But I already got you food. They also stole away with my kingdom's most sacred artifact. The crown of Vargania. Okay, but you guys should probably have guns. Nay, we shall not besmirch our honor with such sorcery. Sire, that is very fucking unwise. I am the king! By definition, everything I do is wise. 
Upon victory, I will construct your watercraft. To battle! Ignatius is rallying the knights, but there is a problem. Lawrence the Leper was sent to procure a figurehead and has not returned. Lawrence the Leper? Uh-uh, no. No more leeches and cough syrup. That was a one-time deal. Don't worry, he's not contagious. I don't think. Just get to the seafront shopping town. We need that figurehead. Lawrence the leper? I ain't a leper. Ignatius just calls me that because I gave his sister crabs. Well, <laughs> he sent you on a really fucked up mission. Where's the figurehead? They took it, man. Who took it? They're everywhere. This place makes Cambodia look like poison. By the way, Lawrence is dead. Leprosy takes its toll yet again. Littlefoot, taketh the figurehead and hitch it to yon siegecraft. Argus! Time to make war! Fight fiercely and with honor! The Lord of Argarby has come for you! <laughs> in the dragon's tail. Yeah, but it's barricaded the whole way. We have made arrangements for that. Billy, my paladin, escort us to the wall. Hey, look. It's Merlin and his band of losers. Fight this with your foam swords. Fire! Paladin, use your magic missiles to shoot down those projectiles. Yo, if you want 
want your stupid crown, you'll have to come and take it from me. My king, a horde of beasts approaches. Aye, this is ugly someone at that. Kaladin, we will hold back the horde. Destroy the fireworks. Set fire to its castle. My friend. not be possible without our champion. And the time has come for our great paladin to leave us. But if you ever need me, send a raven or something. Fear not, my subjects. Let us return to Fargarthia and let flow the mead! What about my boat? Return to our castle on the morrow. Then I shall commence shipbuilding. What the hell is this? These boats are junk. I am only following the plan that Master Brill Cream called for. You shall be safe with me, matey. Wendy? Trying out a new role. Bard didn't work out so well. On your journey, thou hast three tasks. Protect the flagship. Seek out the fiery elixirs. Throw the elixirs into the hole to heal the ship. Arr, she can't take much more! Fix those leaks, boys! Trash! Need trash! We're gonna die! Hang on, on my way. Fine work! There are the Fizco sensors. Hopefully we'll pass undetected and float away with the rest of the trash. <laughs> No life forms on board. 100% waste. Okay. I take back everything bad I said about Brill Cream. This trash disguise is actually pretty genius. 
total garbage. Nothing but trash. Complete rubbish. Unwanted junk. We get it! Adios, Fizzco. Go suck yourself, Sunset City. Hello, vacation. Sam? Help! Fizzco is getting rid of the evidence! What evidence? Us! We're the evidence! We have to go. You're damn right we have to go. We're going right out to sea. We have to go back. Are you crazy? My friends need me. Ah, that'll be fine. We just went through hell to get out of there. Why would you want to go back? Before this whole thing started, I just floated through life, never taking anything seriously. And horror night happened, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, but my life didn't start until the world came to an end. That's why we're going back. What if I say no? Aye, aye, Captain! Hold fast! We're coming about! They're trying to break in! What do you mean we were amazing? We just killed the big robot! Yeah, we were amazing! I'm going to see if I can find anything interesting in the wreckage. Hey, I just got done decoding that data drive we got off that big Fizco mech, and it doesn't look good. There's lots of talk of an imminent threat that's going to destroy Sunset City entirely. How mysterious. Can we stop it? That's the thing! The data is so encrypted, I haven't been able to figure out what it is. All I know is that it's being stored somewhere inside Fizco HQ. Then it looks like it's time for some B&E. That's gonna be difficult, even for you. The security at Fizco HQ is super tight, but I was watching some nearby camera feeds, and I noticed someone's been getting in there at night. Who? I can't really tell, but they look like cheerleaders with like day of the dead makeup oh damn i tracked them back to sunset city hospital uh try knocking subtle awake 
I needed a moment alone with you. Do you think that's wise in front of the kids? I brought you inside yeah. so you can see what Las Catrinas does here. It's important. Now you know why I won't tolerate pendejos playing games. Okay, easy, Guantanamo. It's Esperanza. Look, there's bad shit coming our way. Soon. I can help you. And your kids. But first you have to get me into Fizco HQ. There's nothing there. We checked. It's fully automated. No food or medicine. I'm not after food or medicine. Then you got nothing I need. Now stay away from my kids. Okay, here's how this is gonna go. First I'll run some errands for you, then you'll like me, and then you'll help me. Not gonna happen. Trust me, works every time. Now, if I were a cheerleader, what would I want? Yeah, no. Remember, these are badass assassins. Yes, a sword! Hey, poor Kim. So, I'm looking for the most badass sword in the Samurai Museum. Can you hook me up? Hmm. Well, the best sword in the city is not in the museum. Really? So is there one last samurai still roaming the city, killing O.D., scabs, and the unworthy with the finest sword in the land? What? No. The best sword in Sunset City is in that swanky high-rise at the north end of downtown. A rich Fisco marketing executive bought it. It was in the news before all the stuff hit the fan. Well, all right. Guess I'm gonna go give that Fisco exec a sword egg to me. <laughs> nice digs. Now, where's that sword? In business, let your great object be victory, not lengthy campaigns. Our campaign was total. Regulators torn through like paper, and now the city pays the price. I must pay for my crimes with business seppuku, so I am retiring upstate. Taking nothing with me but my priceless antique Japanese or possibly Chinese sword. Oh, what the hell? They can keep those dumb super titanium excellence in marketing awards. Son of a bitch! Hello? Hey, Wendy, you're a blacksmith, right? How do you make a sword? Well, first off, you need some good source metals. Steel is good, or I guess you could make steel from iron. But that's a bitch and a half. Source metals, huh? Let's see what we got around here. No thanks, bronze gong. Excellence in marketing. Yeah, more like excellence in ego stroking. But they're nice and heavy. These'll do. I got some super titanium. What's the next step? You need a <gasps> forge. An oven that gets really hot. Heat, oh. huh? What about atomic power? Atomic power? Do you want to make a sword that will kill other people or yourself? Hell yeah! A nuclear sword! Oh, can't forget! I can fast travel. Ooh, I bet I can melt these trophies on that steam vent. Time to heat up this forge. I could try to adjust the plant's temperature controls. Or I could just break them and see what happens. Is there any question which option is better? Gotta smash those temperature controls. Die, computer! Right! Now I need a bit of elevation for a proper hammer blow! Guess I'll just jump down and start hammering away.
over here. Was that you? It was my chi. This sword is forged. Now what? Uh, douse it in water to cool it off. To the water treatment plant. You're after me lucky sword. <laughs> <laughs> Get this thing in water before it melts through my magic pocket. Hey, did you douse the sword? In blood? Also in water. Okay, so next is sharpening, fitting a hilt, maybe even some detailing? No. It's perfect. I dub thee Excalamune. Let's take him. Guess they want me to come inside to collect my accolades. Coming! Hola! Look what I made for you! What am I supposed to do with that? Stab some people, make knights, pry food out of the hospital vending machines. It slaps, it chops. So many uses. No thanks. Now scram. Wait. Look how powerful this thing is! Oh shit! That was an accident! Wow, she hits hard. I neutered my nuclear sword. Hey, Floyd, I gotta think of some way to impress these girls, make them like me. Got any ideas? Sword thing didn't work out? Well, I still have it, so no. My advice, find a way into their hearts. What do they care about most in the world? Hell if I know, beating the shit out of me? Some of the kids trust you. I'm not so sure. Watch it. Oh, serious? What is gonna make you crazy ladies happy? When we don't see you no more. Get cancer. Then they'll love you. Lie down. I'll get rid of them, and you can sleep. It's okay, Esperanza. Can't like this be my visiting hours or something? Hey, sorry, I didn't mean to throw you off. It's just, Las Katrinas is crazy, you know? Believe me, I know. But they're cool. I just, 
I want to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know that any of us are getting out of here. I mean, you're getting out of here. Uh, uh, listen, is there anything you need? Um, I never got to go to a baseball game. Not missing much. I could spit peanut shells near your feet. Pretty much the same thing. I never got to climb a mountain. But you never got to fall off a mountain either. You're not in here for falling off a mountain, are you? I never got to see a rock concert. What? That's no way to live. Every kid needs to rock. You want a show? I'll give you a show. What do you mean? You're gonna get the rock show of a lifetime. Are you serious? I don't kid around about rock and roll. Okay, we need a band. Put on your promoter hat. While Wendy plays a pretty mean loot, let's see if she's up for it. Hey, Wendy! I have a new role for you to play. No more role playing. I'm done LARPing. I'm done with the city. As soon as I fix this boat, I'm out of here. I'm forming a band! That sounds cool. You know, I played bass in a band one time, but it was only a garage band. You're in! All right, you got your bass player. When's the show? I need a little time to practice. Tonight, at my base downtown. Cool, I'll meet you there. I need a drummer. Aren't they just hobos with girlfriends? Sam, I need a drummer. I think Forkham plays the drums. She has a merit badge for percussion on her sash. Not that I was looking at her chest or anything. You know where she is? Yeah, she's over by the concert hall. I'll tell her you're coming. <laughs> Sam told me you need a drum. You up for it? Sure, but I need a kit. There's a bunch of drums in that truck down there. I got this. Found the drum kit and some Tyco drums. Watch out! Hopper's incoming! Where? Are you okay? Yeah. But now we got an OD problem. Wait, I got an idea. Hey, thanks, help. Now get to the next one without touching the ground. lead singer and a guitarist. Not Sam, he's too whiny. Not Floyd, he's too... Floyd. Rock fest, huh? It's a long shot, but I'll give it a try. from the Melvins! In the flesh, so to speak. I'm putting on a show for some sick kids. I've got a bass player and a drummer, but I could really use a front man. Benefit show, huh? Cool. I'm there. Awesome! I've got a bass a few blocks away. Meet me there in a few hours. I know the place. I'll be there. Now, if you could just take a step back. Like this? are coming tonight, right? I said I was. Yes. Yes, you did. You still standing out there? Oh. I mean, yeah, yeah not on purpose. You know, I'm just, I'm just 
tie my shoe. The Melvins are actually gonna play at my place. Sometimes the end of the world is pretty damn great. I had to put some fuse boxes around the base so we can get loud! Downside is they might be powered by a little bit of overcharge, which means OD will come running. So lay down some traps just like you always do. Let Buzz know when you're ready to start rocking. Check. One, two, check. You did good. That's an understatement. You made a kid with tons of light is happy. It's not like you saved the world or anything. Yeah, I did tonsillitis. I thought he had cancer. Well done, little man. Well done. We need a little more time to set up. Keep those OD out of the base, and we'll get started as soon as we can. Hey, one thing. Don't let the OD near the fuse boxes. They're really delicate. Keep them away from the fuse boxes. Got it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna get killed quickly. Then I thought I was gonna kill you. But now I look forward to our time together. Until you're killed. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Uh-uh. This is the nicest thing. I'll show you how to get into Fisco HQ. But sneaking you in is as far as I'm willing to go. If we get killed with you, then the kids are as good as dead. Okay. I think I have a plan. I know you're all wondering why I called you here tonight. Take a look around. All of this will be yours someday. Or we'll be dead. I found a hidden code buried in a Fizco data drive. I've only decoded a small piece, but it is a massive bit of work. They are planning something huge. And to find out what, I need access to the server room in their headquarters. But that's in their headquarters. That will be a monumental task. Well, what's our plan? It's frustrating. With all the automation and whatnot, there ain't nobody to shoot. If I may address the court, you said you needed everyone. Yet we are not all here. I see the painted tarts are not here. <laughs> oh. I'm here, but you're not the DM of me, Flandas. I was listening. And I'm not letting you attack Fisco HQ without Las Catrinas. Together, we'll take Fizco down. Or we won't, but we'll get some wicked respawn animations. Who's with me? For Bogarthia. For the Oxfords. For Troop Bushido. Para los niños. For the footage. For each other. Where are you? I don't you know. know. Ah! Where's this Baranza? I'm here. Wow, you totally killed that guy. You're like a sexy Mexican ninja. Puerto Rican. You're safe, Miss Baranza. And you keep distracting those fiscal horses. We're heading into the sewer pipes now. Sewer pipes? Keep moving, cabron. Like the cleanest sewers ever. Not that I'm a sewer expert, but I expected a lot more solid waste. I didn't see a single chunk of. Cabron, shut your hole before I shut it for you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, Have no fear. Troop Master Bill Cream is here. Should 
be on the main floor somewhere. Find it fast. It's getting a little hairy out here. Got the dogs living together and whatnot. Once I find it, I'll need a few minutes to get through the security systems and access their network. Just work fast, Sam. Keep up the fight! Las Catrinas have your back! Kick ass, muchachas! I got it! Okay, here's the deal. There's a weapon somewhere inside the building that's going to activate in a few minutes. What kind of weapon? Like a bomb? I don't know. Yeah. All I know is that it's inside the building somewhere and it's going to destroy the whole city. Where inside the building? I'm getting conflicting information! Oh, that's too much pressure. Oh, I get diarrhea when I'm nervous, you know? Okay, new plan. What if we just destroy the whole building? That could work. But how would you destroy a building? I don't know. I'll improvise. Wait, I have an idea. There is a huge bottle of overcharge on top of a building close by. See it? Yeah. Get up to that bottle and hurry. We set up a harpoon for you. It should help you get to the bottle faster. Don't worry. We'll take care of any additional forces. We need to get to that bottle. Hurry. We don't have much time. That bottle is actually filled with overcharge. So when you get there, just hit it a few times to build up the pressure inside. And then what? It might fly straight into the building. Might? Great plan, Sam. I just lost the best friend I've ever had. We all lost a friend. And the world lost a hero. A hero that will live on in this city and in our hearts forever. That's the ending? Are you serious? Whose idea was that? Yours? Or yours? Oh, bad move, guys. Neogaf is gonna eat you alive. You know what? I deserve a better ending. I got an idea. Okay, rewind! I just lost the best friend I've ever had. to get drunk on milk and crackers. All right, so be honest. That whole riding the bottle into the building thing, did it look as cool as it felt? Wait, 
wait. Don't tell me. Giant city destroying robot. <laughs> game. 